In the Michelson interferometer experiment, you will be measuring the average wavelength and separation of the sodium doublet. Your main tool for doing this is, of course, the Michelson interferometer. Let's go over its parts. This is a mount where you can place a ground glass plate and a pin so that you can get diffuse light and something to focus on when you're aligning the interferometer, like so. These two knobs adjust the mirror tilt on this arm of the interferometer, while the micrometer controls the mirror translation on the other arm. Note that the micrometer acts at an angle, so you will need to find a conversion factor between the micrometer motion and the mirror displacement. This is usually done empirically. The mercury and sodium lamps at your disposal are straightforward to use. Both have simple on-off switches. You will need to let them warm up for a few minutes before using them. The sodium lamp has an additional control for light intensity. The middle intensity setting should be sufficient. There is an optional experiment where you use one of these vacuum cells and a pump to remove air in the cell and measure the refractive index of air. If you do this experiment, you place a vacuum cell here. To compensate for the change in path length due to the plates on the vacuum cell, you need to put glass plates on the other arm. Then you plug two of the pipes in the vacuum cell, little rubber stoppers. And the third hole is where the hose from the pump goes. The hose is connected to a pressure gauge measuring in inches of mercury. The hose from the pump then connects to the other end. After connecting the hoses, you will need to tighten the hose clamps to make sure you have a good seal. Turn clockwise on the screw to tighten. The last part of this video is about the pump for the vacuum cell. We have different pumps for the different setups of this experiment. We will discuss the pump for set number one first. You can use the table of contents in the video description to skip ahead to a different pump. For setup number one, the pump is activated by a simple on off switch here. When using the pump, make sure that the main valve here is completely opened counterclockwise, and the venting valve here is fully closed clockwise. Do not leave the pump connected to the vacuum cell under the vacuum for more than two minutes. Otherwise, oil from the pump could diffuse into the cell. For the same reason, please let air into the pump through the venting valve when you are done using it. For setup number two, your pump has no on-off switch. You will have an extra power bar that you can use as an on-off switch. Do not leave the pump connected to the vacuum cell under vacuum for more than two minutes. Otherwise, oil from the pump could diffuse into the cell. You can let air into the hose and the pump through the venting valve on the side. 